Hey, have you seen Tilly? No, I hadn't seen her in a day or two. I'm sure she's fine. I hope so. Karen told me he saw a couple boys look just like them foreman she used to ride with. <laughs> It'll be fine. So how about you, Mr. Trelawney? Where are you from? The moons of Jupiter, dear boy. The moons of Jupiter. No, shut up. Shut up. Now, that kind of nonsense might amuse folk at a children's birthday party. But really, I'm saying Irish. No. Scots? Cornwall, dear boy. Where the real original Celts are from. Where they still have trolls. Just like you that live under the bridges. Where fire spews out of the marshes. What's it like there? I have no idea. I've never been. But it sounds wonderful. Well, I'm from Ohio. And I have been there. And it could use more trolls. <laughs> so I've heard. So I've heard. Hey, boy. Get over here. His name is Lenny. And he is one of us. So don't be calling him boy now, Bill. He don't like that no more. Sorry, Dutch. I swear, Arthur, these people are Philistines. I blame the army. I know you saw me in town with my wife. I never knew you were married. It's hard, Arthur. I love her. But uh, I can't stand still. Can't do it. Poor woman. Oh, she's fine. She knows who she married. Did she? No, probably not. <laughs> the big man. Shut up. Oh, charming. Smile, Arthur. It's a beautiful day. Why don't you go make yourself useful? All in good time. You know, I think the last time I played this was with Skinny and those boys and Strawberry. Before, well, things all went a little crazy. A little crazy? A feller stupid enough to disrespect me during a knife game Ugh, deserves what he gets. What I would give for a good pozole. It's taken Pearson this long to learn one recipe. Don't fluster him anymore. Ugh. <laughs> one of my boots would be more tender than this. Yeah, one of your boots probably would. How is it even Pearson's sauce gets stuck in your teeth? You got food, health, warmth. Be grateful for that. Hey, how about you bring that pretty little face over here for a kiss? Oh, you're breaking my heart, sugar pie. <laughs> you're a real charmer, ain't you? Just the merry dance of the sexes. Creep. So, you're still alive? For now. <laughs> well, yeah. Listen, listen. Try to stop Dutch getting all of you killed, because I'm about beginning to think he's finally lost his mind. And do what? I don't know. <laughs> I never knew. Guess I could never figure that out, neither. <laughs> <laughs> you know... It's not too late to repent, my Mexican friend. Oh, well, in that case, uh, I'm sure there's priests who will happily take your confession. You're doomed. <laughs> He's doomed. We're all doomed, Reverend. I'll go back to Blackwater and get the money. Meet you all someplace and we'll be home free. That's it. Just think about it. That's all I'm saying. The way I see it, we gotta try. I'm... Um, I'll think about it. Thank you. Here, I'll do whatever you say. Always. <sighs> you know, long time ago, I believed in all this crap. Believed in everything Dutch said. Uh, we was above the law. Above morality. Uh, we was different. Long time since I felt that way. Long time. Blackwater ended all that. But really, it was dead long before. I mean, thieving is all right. Whole country is just about thieving. Maybe whole world is. But the killing? The killing, I can stomach. Because it turns out I can stomach more or less anything. But that don't mean I like it. Don't mean I like it one bit. Nor myself for putting up with it. Yes. I hope that if we can get the hell out of here, then maybe we can go legit. Maybe Dutch will calm down. Maybe it'll be okay. <laughs> 
Some chance. <sighs> Not that much has changed, Jose. We used to actually help people. You remember that? I do. You know, I found a finger in my stew once. A lady finger. What? Pearson tried to tell me it was a chicken bone, but I know chicken when I taste it. Christ. What have you been up to, Arthur? You look odd. You want to talk? I don't know. I just don't feel myself. Been out a lot. Sure. Anything fun? I've been bad. I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. That's it. Well, also killed a bunch of innocent folk. I don't know why. What's wrong with you, Arthur? I just get so angry about everything, about how this is going to end. Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. <sighs> I know. Hey, boy, get over here. I said, boy, get on over here. Don't you call me no boy, Micah. Then what should I call you, nigger? <sighs> oh, I got an idea. How about... Sir, you got your knickers all knotted up tight there, boy. <laughs> Didn't mean nothing by it. I like colored folk. Usually. <sighs> Just watch it. <laughs> <sighs> the boy sure is touchy, ain't he? Kind of like you, Arthur. <laughs> Pair of goddamn creeps, both of yous. You need to watch your damn mouth. Or what? Or you'll find out. Sorry about that. Why are you sorry? That ain't how we are. He's way out of line. There you are, Arthur. Yes, I'm back. And you're gonna try to behave? Yes, I'm gonna try and do better. Then let's say no more about it. Thank you. Good cup of coffee always gets the guts moving. <laughs> the perfect image to start my day. How you boys keeping? My lord. Been quite a ride since Blackwater. Since that thing on the boat, you boys know all about that. At least, you know enough. I'm still trying to forget. Got my wings clipped there, then nearly got eaten by a pack of wolves. Maybe I should learn my lesson. I just hope Dutch has learned his. I love Dutch. Y'all know that. But we're bad men. We're fighters, I know. But sometimes I start thinking about that girl. Well, Javier knows what we saw, and it weren't pretty. Weren't pretty at all. Ask Micah. Although, he encouraged it. I just hope Dutch was right when he said that we had to do it to survive. Sometimes, you just gotta do really bad things, I guess. Remember the old days? When we used to go around giving away the money we'd robbed? Yeah. Guess that just kinda stopped at some point. Sure did. Listen, uh, Dutch. <clears throat> Can I talk to you a minute? What is it? I think you misunderstood me earlier. I ain't trying to rob you. You know me better than that. What are you trying to do, Micah? Save you. Save everybody. You know me. You stop lingering like a bad smell and speak some sense to him. What are you trying to pull here? Nothing. I'm trying to help. Right you are. Don't you tell him a thing about that money. I ain't a fool, Arthur. I know. I just don't trust him. How you doing? This place gives me the creeps, always has done. <laughs> me too. But we could do well here. I hope so. It feels... It feels like we're living with ghosts. It feels... To me, it feels like what I've always said. America is man set free for good and bad. And this place, oh, this is the bad. Greed, delusion, all oh, these people are rotten. And they have always been. No, it isn't that. They're good people here. Good and bad? Sad thing is good people do bad things. <laughs> like us? Exactly. Just like us. But we... My daddy, we fought these people. Sure, and they were fighting something else, and they did bad things. 
such as the world. Why is it like that? I have always wondered. Why ain't we better? Now that... That I don't know. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> Excuse me. Now those are some problems we really can't solve. You two confuse the hell out of me. Hey, when you're done with that, can you rub my feet? I'd rather gut myself with a rusty spoon. Can't blame a feller for asking. You better not be stealing from the collection box again, Reverend. Steal? <laughs> Stealing me? You. No. I was putting money in. How dare you, Mr. Pearson? Well, go on then. Put it in. Go on! <laughs> Five cents. How generous of you. You're not a nice man, Mr. Pearson. <laughs> Stealing from us after all we done? I wasn't. Pearson is a liar. Make sure I believe you. What are we gonna do with him? Stealing after all we do for that man. I know. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, folks is wondering what's happened to you. Nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Nothing is right. That's the point. That's the point. Work, Mr. Morgan. Folk need feeding. I never took you for the lazy type. Ugh. I got you something for the pot, Mr. Pearson. Oh, you're a good boy, Leonard. Uh, thank you. I think. Fine. Yes, you would have been great on a boat. Oh, buddy. It was hard service, yes, sir. Young man, they, they grew up fast. In all regards. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. A fine young man. Fine, fine young man. In all regards. <laughs> that was a weird thing to say to him. Why? All this Navy talk. Oh, it never ends. Ugh. You know when you need to piss, but you can't face moving? Oh, you have all the charm of a dead slug, Bill Williamson. Eh, I'll tough it out. See? See what I tell you? Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends, my loved ones, a plan it is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place, and we are gonna find our own paradise, our own heaven, Tahiti, Fiji, Australia, the real New world, not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has acted out its peasants' vengeance on. We are gonna be free! Free. You're a bastard, Dutch Vanderlind. What's wrong now? I seen you looking at her, Dutch. Who? You know who. Getting too old for you, am I? That's how it usually works with you, isn't it? You're delusional. Again. Won't. Even look me in the eye, but you'll look at her all day. Doesn't matter what I say, you'll believe whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy? You think this is a fantasy for me? I do not have the energy for this right now. Oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid, I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a dangerous game. Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Pig! So, Molly's been acting pretty crazy. Yeah, I've seen a bit of it. Crazy in a bad way? Definitely crazy in a worse way than before. So how come you get the fancy room in the mansion and I have to sleep out here? Ask Susan or Dutch, not me. I swear, my feet are rotten in this dank climate. Whew. <laughs> they stink like old cabbage. Why did I sit here? It was good seeing you in action with those foreman boys, like the old days. Oh, I'm just glad we got Tilly back. Yep, just in time. You okay, Mary Beth? Yes, glad you and Susan got to Tilly in time. Yeah, let's just hope that gang stays away from her now. You recovered? I'll be fine. Thank you, Arthur. 
course. Just glad you're okay. Here, I picked up this. I heard you talking about losing the one your pa gave you. Well, that is mighty kind. Thank you, Arthur. Don't mention it. You don't fool me, Dutch. Is that so, miss? Yes, that's so. You don't fool me one bit. You're a no-good, degenerate liar. A liar. You're exactly what you say or not, you hear? Whatever you say, miss. Oh, oh, I've got a lot more to say to you. Perhaps some other time? I hope you drop down dead. <laughs> I am sure I shall soon enough. Oh, get lost, will you? You're as creepy as he is. Some party, huh? And very productive. We got some good leads out of it. I'm glad we didn't have to tolerate all those idiots for nothing. So, you gonna look into this bank? Yes. I want to make sure we're fully prepped before making any moves. For sure. How are you, Mary Beth? Good. How is the big party at the mayor's house? Oh, not really my thing, but we got some good information out of it. Mr. Morgan! Morgan! Hello. What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. Hey! <laughs> What'd you get, Javier? Never you mind, old man. Come. Have a drink with me. Oh, come on. Tell old uncle, what'd you get? I robbed a soldier on the road. Oh, goody. What you been doing? Me? Well, thinking, plotting. You know me. I'm only interested in the big stuff. If you say so. Who's gonna join us for a drink, huh? Maybe a little song. Come on, people, this is life! <laughs> well, there you are, Arthur. Hello, Bill. Well, Dutch has been worried about you. Sent me out looking. I've been busy. Well, all right. At least you're alive. I'm gonna head back to camp now. You... You wanna come back with me? Nah. I'll come back in a bit. Suit yourself. Micah. William. <clears throat> it ain't William. Bill comes from Williamson. That's so. Sure. <laughs> so your first name comes from your surname? Ain't that odd. Guess I never put too much thought in it before. What's your real first name then? <sighs> Marion. Marion? My oh my. What a nasty mama and daddy you must have had. Well, they must have hated you before they even met you. <sighs> Explains a lot. It's a family name, actually. Well, that don't surprise me. But I can see why you stick with Bill, Marion. I know. <clears throat> don't worry. Your secret's safe with me, Marion. Hey, don't give Marion a hard time. I wouldn't dream of it. He's a very sensitive lady. Hey there, Marion. Shut up. Sorry, ma'am. Hey, run into a couple of Indians in Saint Denis. A chief called Rainsfall and his son. Yeah, I know the name. They're in real need of help right now. Back from the city, then? Yes, um, uh, a gentleman's business is his own, wouldn't you say, Arthur? I guess so. Happy to be out of that suit? Never again. I hated every minute of that party. <laughs> well, we got some good leads out of it. Thanks again for that watch, Arthur. I left something for you by your bed. Oh, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> well, sure I did. Ah! Mr. Morgan, you seem chipper. But well, where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong, that's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> Always the show, man.
Miss Grimshaw? <laughs> Miss Grimshaw? Yes, what is it? Have you seen Karen? Oh, the O'Driscoll boy? No, I haven't. Firstly, he isn't an O'Driscoll, and secondly, I'm worried. Well, I'm sure he'll turn up. His sort normally do. Okay. Thank you. Everything okay? Arthur, have you seen Karen around anywhere? Oh, come to think of it, no, not for a while. <sighs> have you seen Karen, Mr. Pearson? No, my child, not today. I haven't seen anyone. I spent the day working. Okay. I, I remember, long time ago, we lost this fella at sea. Bad business. I think a shark took him. You think a shark came and ate Kieran? No, 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 it wasn't directly relevant. I was just making conversation. What do you think, Arthur? I think you'll be fine. Yeah, Tr trust Arthur. He's usually right. Okay. Thank you. Anytime. <coughs> you think he went back to the O'Driscolls? No. They must have got to him somehow. If they found us here, what about the Pinkertons? Yeah. We need to keep our guard up real high from here on out. You know, the thing is, this country's been ruined ever since the British left. That's a fact. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I hate British folk. <laughs> Silly damn voices. <laughs> Stuff-shirted windbags. <laughs> but we're even worse. What have we done, huh? We put fellas in leg irons. <laughs> we killed each other. <sighs> Invaded Cuba. And now we're about to invade the Philippines. <laughs> and this is the land of freedom? It's ridiculous. This isn't a land for men. It's a land for money. Folks seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided for. Yeah, we have, Reverend. Have a fine time, sir. Mr. Bell? Call me Micah. I won't. If you don't mind. Why not? Might give people the wrong idea. And what would that be? That I like you. <laughs> no. Only thing you like is a bottle of whiskey. Everyone knows that, Miss Karen. They do. Oh, yes. Some folks is concerned. But not me. Your past worrying about nasty little thing. She gets what she deserves. You've got his number, all right. Stay out of it, Arthur. Fine, okay. How you doing, Abigail? My, my, I do like this new haircut of yours. Uh, blame Trelawney. Everything okay? Yeah. Well, don't you look slick. Uh, Trelawney got me all tarted up for that riverboat job. Hey, Mary Beth. Well, look at that fancy haircut, Mr. Morgan. Who are you trying to impress? Uh, don't you start. How's it going, Sadie? What's his new haircut? You look like an accountant. Aw, oh, shut up. I heard what you said about me. What? I said I heard what you said about me. Did you? Okay. I don't think it's very fair. Okay, good for you. You know, you're not so high and mighty and above everyone than you think you are. Whatever you say. He bloody well loves me, do you know? He bloody well does. Of course. Of course he does. What exactly are we talking about? Damn you! Damn all you! You ain't so smart! You little trollop! Trollops! <sighs> Give me strength. They're just so unkind! What are we gonna do with her? I can think of a few things. <laughs> I'm sure. You doing all right, Abigail? I still can't believe that happened to Karen. Yeah, bad business, all right. So, what now? We need to start learning from our mistakes. I know. There was me thinking we were a step ahead of the O'Driscolls. I was almost starting to like that, Kieran. And he saved your life. I know. Oh, Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. To Kieran? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. You okay, son? I'm getting nervous, boss. Me too, son. But we'll be okay if we stick together. You don't think we should scatter? Scatter. We have a problem to solve. We solve it together. 
or we die alone. We run, they'll pick us off. One weak, desperate fool after the other. Ain't that so, John? I guess. I guess one of these days we'll find out. Come on. Both of you. A little faith. A little faith. You okay? Yeah. I wasn't saying I don't trust him. I know. Just a lot of stress right now. What is your problem, you little strumpet? Please go away. What is your problem? I got lots of problems. Mostly I drink too much. What's your problem with me? Nothing but the obvious. And what is that supposed to mean? It means go away. Just who do you think you are saying them things about me? I'm the dumb strumpet. Now get lost. Look at me. Look at me. You little... Oh. Damn you. Oh. And you be careful before you hit me again, you goddamn moron! Dutch or no Dutch, you'll be up there with the angels playing harp before sunset. You hear me? You okay? She's lucky that's all she got. She's going through a rough time of it. Oh, you're losing it. What's going on with you? All of you talking about me behind my back. Molly's really stirring things up with the other girls. I'll handle it. All right. Oh, hey, Arthur. What you want, Micah? Nothing. I'm just being civil, my brother. Well, hello there. You really are a very charming man, aren't you? What's wrong with you, Mr. Morgan? How'd you mean? You're stuck in camp all the time. You used to be such a man of action. Well, I'm sorry. Mind if I sit? No, be my guest. <clears throat> Money lending, hmm? It's not very dignified, is it? I don't force anyone to take the money, and I don't force anyone to not repay it. But if they don't, you send one of us around to break their legs. I send someone around to encourage them to comply, yes. Hmm. The way I see it, it's unseemly. I do not take you for a man of mindless compassion, Mr. Bell. <laughs> oh, I ain't. But I have the good grace to shoot a fella full in the face not call myself his friend and shoot him in the back. Is that so? Usually. Not always. Sometimes. There's nothing better than shooting a fella who thinks you like him in the back. So, watch yourself. <clears throat> Please, excuse me. You got a problem with Strauss? Lone sharkin'. It ain't a man's game. Huh. That's where you draw the moral line. So, no more Kieran. No. I was just starting to like him, too. I know. Guess we ain't one step ahead of the O'Driscolls no more. But who came off worse? Probably Kieran, I'd say. You okay, Jack? I'm scared, Uncle Arthur. It's gonna be okay, kid. This has all gotten a little crazy. We need to find where those O'Driscolls are at and go hit them back. I don't know. I ain't sure that's the right move. <sighs> There's ghosts in the swamp. Ghosts. I saw them. There's ghosts in your head, Reverend. Ghosts. Ghosts. I saw a ghost. A young woman. You've lost your mind. You poor bastard. She seeing things again? Apparently. The old fool. Oh, he gets worse by the day. You all right, Reverend? I know what I saw. A girl. A ghost of a girl in white. Okay. You play a good guard. And you make a pretty good oil man. Yeah. <laughs> Trelawney and Jose have taught us well. It was good working with you, Mr. Strauss. Yes, well, I suppose it worked out in the end. Yeah, we did good. You all right? Yeah, that was quite a mess to clean up. Yeah, in every sense. I'm getting tired of these old Driscolls now. Me too. This feud has gone on long enough. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Well, at least we came out of it in one piece. Well, apart from Kieran. What are we doing so far south, Arthur? 
I don't like it. Seems as good a place as any to get chased by the law, Miss Tilly. You ain't so dumb as that, Arthur. I'm a Negro. I know. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. My mama was a slave until she was 15 years old, Arthur. I'll keep you safe, miss. You have my word. Goddamn old Driscolls. Bet that Kieran tried to turn on us, hmm? I don't think so. You okay? Yes. Just thinking about Kieran. Guess uh, he was always living on borrowed time. Maybe. It'll be okay, Molly. Okay? How is any of this okay? Kieran and Sean are dead. Dutch is hardly speaking to me. I don't know what to tell you. You okay? I will be. I always had a soft spot for that, Kieran. I know you did. I'm sorry. Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. Uh, don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank you. I think. You all right, Trelawney? Oh, Driscoll's here. This is all getting a little out of hand, dear boy. You don't have to tell me. Easy, killer. That's rich from you. I ain't trying to rile you. Believe me. You okay? I thought we were safe here. <sighs> Never make that mistake. Mr. Strauss? Back at them, Mr. Morgan. Good to see. Yeah, I'll live. You okay, Uncle? I'm keeping my head, which is more than we can say for Kieran. Straight in there with the jokes, huh? You see the way Charles been acting? Reckon he's still sore about me knocking him out. You hardly knocked him out. Yeah, yeah. You all right, Reverend? Just trying to make sense of this. I'm scared. We'll be all right. You okay, Abigail? What are we going to do? We can't stay here. I know. I'll speak to Dutch. So, we're going to do this. Hit Bronte. It's the only move. Like I told you, Jose is wrong. Okay. I'll meet you and the others back at Le Gras. You know, when I was in the Navy... Shut up about the Navy. I was in the Army with the real men. Mmm. And you do like a real man. <laughs> the thing is, John... The thing is, we all gotta die. I know that. I, of all people, know that. Excuse me? We all gotta die, but you got the chance to live. Not just to live, to live for love. Arthur will tell you, we all gotta die, but love. Love is the thing. The only thing. I got no goddamn clue what you're on about, Hosea. You're not as dumb as you act, John Marston. I don't understand. Be a man, John. It would suit you. You both are acting real strange right now. You know what he's talking about? It ain't nobody's business but mine. Except we all gotta live here together. So what do they eat in Germany, Strauss? I'm Austrian. Oh. Well, so what do they eat in Australia? It's a miracle you don't fall over more. So, uh, tell me, Red Man. You ever, you know, scalp a fella? Not yet. Well, give me time. <clears throat> no point scalping me. Not gouging my heart out, neither. I ain't like you fools. All worried about hearts and brains. I'm different. On that, we can agree. Oh! You ain't so tough. <laughs> Look nasty, though. <laughs> Oh, man. What'd I do for a hot bath and a good rubdown? I sure hope that ain't a proposition. Reverend, stop injecting that shit. <laughs> oh, you sick bastard. <sighs> Get up. So, Bronte's dealt with. I heard. I still think it was the wrong move. Maybe. Dutch went pretty crazy on him. You mind if I sit? You know, when I, I first met Dutch, 
when I first met many of you, I had just left the army. A and it wasn't on a case of no dishonorable discharge like I'm sure some of you have heard around here, but it was by mutual consent on the account of our differing opinions. Or that's how the, that's how the captain put it, differing opinions. The army, they had their opinion and I had mine. We was equals, but we went our separate ways. Now me, I, I spent a few nights sleeping rough. I admit, I, uh, I, <laughs> funny, <laughs> I, 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 I was robbed. I, <laughs> I, I was robbed by someone I was a, well, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, no, no, it, it was a woman. It was, I, I was robbed by a woman. And, and then I met Dutch. Now, unlike some of you vagrants and vagabonds and orphans and murderers, I've seen what Uncle Sam can do up close. Uh-huh. Um, nothing will make you believe in a man like Dutch more than seeing what power can what power can do to a captain in the US Army. I mean it 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 corrupts a man. It corrupts a man totally. But I I believe in Dutch. I know I know what Dutch is Dutch. But I I believe in him where where he talks I walks, and and that's the way it's gonna be. Dutch went pretty overboard with Bronte back there, no pun intended. I know, but I ain't losing any sleep over that one. Right, but still. Did I ever tell you boys about the time I was hanged? Oh, uh, I think so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing... Something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But, but uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. <gasps> and I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Gentlemen, and the rest of you, <laughs> my, oh my, ain't life grand. Well, it is. Trust me on that one. It is. Old Micah Bell told me. That was my daddy, Micah Bell. Like his daddy, too. A pair of wild horses, they was. Father and son, and then me. At one point, my daddy was wanted for murder in five counties. Five! Never did suffer fools. Damn near killed my brother one time. But my brother always was a fool and a coward. Yella as pissed on snow. Never could stand him. <laughs> Nor his wife. Lives over in California. By the sea. Pathetic. What kind of a man lives by the sea, I ask you? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Kind of man that gets told where to live by his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no woman never told me nothing apart from make yourself scarce. And that suits me about fine. <laughs> now, let me tell you boys a story. And when old uncle was just a little boy, back when they called me nephew, I guess, <laughs> not uncle. No. My real uncle, Uncle Jeb, my mother's brother's cousin, <laughs> he was kind of funny. One of those men you, uh, you didn't want to be left alone with on account of him doing... Well, you know what I mean. Not right with young men. <laughs> Anyways... He want to take me fishing. No, I didn't want to go. Because if there's one place men act funny, it's around fish. <laughs> In the end, I sent my brother's friend Ned instead. Go. I never liked Ned much either. I figured, well, they could do the damnedest to each other. Turns out they did. Only weren't Jeb drowning Ned like I reckon, but <laughs> Ned, 
He went and, well, stabbed Jeb right in the moneymaker. <laughs> Turned him into Aunt Jemima. <laughs> no word of lie. <laughs> yeah. I ain't sure I understood a word of that. Oh, I'm lost on you fools. Well, you're lost, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> You all right, old man? <coughs> sure. Good. You know, we've been riding a long time together, haven't we? Sure. When I first met you, I, I used to think you were all stuck up. I know. You told me a fair few times. Well, I'm... I'm sorry. No, you ain't. I don't blame you. I used to think you was one sorry excuse for a man. Well, you've, you've changed your mind since then, right? Uh, absolutely, Bill. Now I think you're a fine, upstanding gentleman who got stuck in the wrong place and wrong time. You do? Sure. Something like that. Well, thanks, Hosea. I like that. Don't mention it. We all have. Ain't that so, Arthur? Sure. What is it you called him? Uh, sheep in wolf's clothing. That's it. Is that right? <laughs> hey, Arthur. Miss Karen, all good? Too good. I'd like the chance to shoot a fella and not feel bad about it. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Stay alert. So you're still acting crazy, Mr. Morgan. I am crazy, Miss Grimshaw. Ain't no changing me now. We all change every day, Mr. Morgan. I'm too near the end to change. You're too near the end not to. Now calm down out there and stop shooting innocent folk. Hey, Bill. Anyone ever tell you you're a moron? I'm a what? Sorry, I... I... I'll use shorter words. Anyone ever tell you just how dumb you are? All right, now you're pushing it. <laughs> Why don't you go and make us some money? Or get us some food if you're so full of energy. You get that? Whatever you say, boss. Do something useful. Both of you. You boys are really pouring it all out. It's Micah talking bullcrap again. Uh, he's just trying to get a rise out of you. You know, I wish my head was as screwed on at your age. Thanks. I guess. Doesn't always feel that screwed on. Hey, listen. Try not to get too bogged down in all this. You got your whole life ahead of you. What do you mean? Just that this life will wear you quick if you ain't careful. Before you come any closer, the answer is no. What did I want? You wanted money. Just a little. Just a little. You already owe me a lot. I am not well. I think I'm dying. I need... I, I need... If you are dying, how do you plan to repay me? Oh, you are a heartless little swine. You really are. It is for his own good, Mr. Morgan. I'm sure. So, how are you, Mr. Smith? Fine. Well, <laughs> you been up to much, have you? Not really. <clears throat> Read any interesting books recently? No. Seen any plays? No. <sighs> you heard any good jokes? Yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> well, you <clears throat> fancy sharing it with me? No. Oh. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be stuck in the wilderness with you, Charles. I've had more fun, well, watching the grass grow. Please, go watch it. <sighs> you know, someday, you will warm up to me. Mm-hmm. So, I met this strange couple. Pig farmers, they was. Okay. They said they had a new friend in for a meal. Sounded an awful lot like you. Really? Sounds like you had yourself a fun old time. It's okay, people, it's okay. We're gonna eat just fine. I got us a score, got something good. I said, I got us a score, Miss Roberts. Maybe you'll let me take you out sometime. I don't think so. All you folk can thank Uncle Micah when the eating's good. You hear? <laughs> hey, 
Fat man. Go buy us something decent to eat, hmm? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hard man to find, Arthur. Hello, Charles. Been tracking you for days. Dutch was worried. Uh, I've been, uh, well, I'm fine as you can see. Mm. Yeah, so I see. You coming back to camp? Sure. All right. So, I got hold of that fountain pen for you. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Here, please take this. Something I acquired along the way. They're getting hungry, Mr. Morgan. Who is? The people you haven't fed. Me? When did that become my job? Others are pulling their weight. I'll get out and do some more hunting soon. I'd appreciate it. We won't starve. So, I uh, found you a pipe. Look at that. Thank you, Arthur. Here, you want these? I stole them anyway. Sure. Thank you. Oh, this is a beauty. So when are we heading out again, me and you? That? That was fun. All in good time. Well, just say the word. So I've got a story for you, Hosea. You'll like this one. Can we just enjoy some peace and quiet? You're a barrel of laughs, aren't you? Arthur, son, do me a favor. Unless you want us all strung up like trophies in some town square, stop causing so much goddamn mayhem quite so near to camp. S sorry, Dutch. I, I don't know what came over me. Okay. Apology accepted. <laughs> I ever tell you about the time I went on the stage? <sighs> uh, is this like the time you joined the cavalry? No, this is a true story. Really true or mostly true? Really true. Gospel truth, solid oak truth. I always loved drama. And I always had a comedy routine, falling over, getting punched, that sort of thing. Used to play it in the theaters and on the street all up and down the big rivers back when I was a young man. Oh, well, I was always into running women. <laughs> That's because you're a lowlife, whereas I had aspirations. <laughs> eh, fair enough. Anyway, anyway, I was a comedian, but I wanted to do something serious. Drama. Tried reading some of it, but I didn't understand more than two words of it. I just wanted to be in one of them. I don't know why now. So one day, I snuck onto the stage. Turner it was. The Revenger's tragedy. Bunch of Italians stabbing each other, and I stabbed someone. Really you stabbed them? No, I wasn't quite that dumb. Uh, but then I had a line to say, and I completely forgot it and got booed off. Oh, the shame of it. And that was the end of my dramatic career. I should have been an actor. I'm a natural, but the lore of Africa was too great for me. Did I ever tell you about Timbuktu? Many times, my friend, many times, and I don't believe any of it. It's getting kind of late. I gotta get some sleep. It'll be well. <laughs> you know, I've seen a lot of men who say one thing and do the other thing, who promise you the world while they rob the bread off your plate. Listen. I know Dutch been a little erratic recently. I, I know what went on in Blackwater. Well, none of us is pretending that was something nice. But I guess, the way I see it, we're still here. And he's still right. I mean, look, you're all free to think what you want to think. But for me, I still believe in him. Because, well, look, he did what he did. But he did it for love. For all of us. Yes, I feel bad. They didn't deserve that, but listen, I just think, and I've been thinking about this a lot, I just think Dutch loves us, and being loved, well, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna make it. You boys got it easy. Far too easy. You don't worry about your souls. You probably don't even have them. You're like animals. You're free. Me, I'm in torment. I'm in hell. I am a failure in every conceivable way. The morphia has me by the throat, and its embrace is brutal. The whiskey wants to drown me, and God won't let me go either. I can't stand it. It's tearing at me. I used to be a man of God. 
But now look at me. I'm just a wretch. And worse than that, a self-pitying one. Only you can get yourself out of this, Reverend. You think I don't know that? I hope you do. How you been getting on? Stole a necklace last week. From a lady's house in the mansion district. I don't like Saint Denis. Scares me. It's like a city built on... Built on I don't know what. Built on... Memories. This whole place is all about memory. Memory. It's built on lies and mud and all things bad since this country was discovered. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> Very romantic. I knew you'd say that. <clears throat> well, it is. Tired mansions gently sinking. Ghosts everywhere. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> You're mad. Well, if this place is romantic, I ain't sure I understand romance. Oh, yes, you do, Arthur. Huh? Good job stealing that necklace, anyway. Always first in the food line, aren't you? You ain't far behind me. <laughs> That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm? Money in the pot. I made it big. Again. Mm, you lucky people. Rest of you stop being so goddamn lazy and come over and say thank you to your Uncle Micah. Oh, give it a rest, will you? I tell you what. Little Miss Romance, I was right. About what? Sandini. How so? It ain't romantic. It's evil. <laughs> evil can be very romantic. Shut up. I talked to this couple in town. They told me there's this old rumor about people drinking blood. Human blood in town. <laughs> That's just a silly old wife's tale. What? Blood drinking ain't romantic enough for you? Depends on whose blood. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> She's frightened of romance, Arthur, so she makes of nonsense. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> what are you reading? Nothing you'd like. Well, pardon me for breathing. How you feeling? Okay, a little better. Good. How are you? Fine. Hey, do you think... <laughs> Do you worry? Do you worry that maybe we've lost our way? How do you mean? Ignore that. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. But I don't know. Things seem bad. world is changing, and... I'm not making much sense, am I? <laughs> no. But somehow, you've summarized how I feel. <laughs> it, it seems awful. Listen. We got out of worse situations than this. Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down fighting. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't going to find out sooner than I'd like. <sighs> what do you think, Arthur? I don't do too much thinking, Jose. Killing's more my thing. I don't believe that for a second. We have to keep the faith, right? What else is there? Exactly. We ain't done until we're done. Comfortable there, Bill? I'd help you, but that's woman's work. Ugh, what a pathetic excuse for a man you are. Just think. We wouldn't be here if you and me hadn't cleared the place out. I'll be happy when we move on, to be honest. Just what did you say to me? Well, I, I didn't do it. I heard that. I oh, heard what, you crazy fool? I heard everything you said. <sighs> Put your back into it, Karen. And you wonder why no woman will even look at you. Mr. Smith! Mr. Smith will eat for days. Thank you, thank you. At least it's not us getting hunted. The rest of you follow this man as an example. Look at this! <laughs> Arthur! Arthur! Yeah? You don't look so good. You feeling okay? Sure, why not? That's nothing, I guess. You don't mind me saying you ain't looking so good neither. Me? I guess if I knew how to make amends for what I'd done, then about now would be the time I'd start. <laughs> I don't reckon none of that matters. Two shits. I admire your faith in your own certainty. 
Was you a, a military man, uh, Mr. Williamson? <sighs> sure was. Cavalry. That's so. Sure. Oh, real impressive. Always impressed by, by folks who, who make sacrifices. Well, thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> and was you a military man, Morgan? Nope. I thought maybe you was in espionage or something. Always sneaking about, covert-like. <laughs> Good chatting, Bill. <clears throat> you ever wonder if one day there won't be any trees left to burn? They'll just grow more. I guess so. You... you ever read? Sometimes. Dutch taught me a long time ago. Why? No reason. Just wondered. You know you boys used to be a lot more fun. Thank you. I miss the old days. I'm feeling old today. You're not old. <sighs> I'll never understand you, Arthur Morgan. One minute you're sweet as pie, and the next you're as sour as vinegar. So you think they'll find us here? I don't know. We ain't an easy bunch to hide. And we sure ain't proven good at lying low. You know, I find it hard to care about too much. You ever wonder when you're gonna die? Try not to think about it. Could be tomorrow. Could be ten years from now. All starts to taste the same, doesn't it? I know. Pearson has an unusual talent for removing all flavor. I hear you've been drinking and taking morphine again, Reverend. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't say much for your soul. And I hear you've been making all kinds of new friends again, Mr. Bell, with your overpowering charms. How you doing there, partner? Fine. You've had a run of bad luck, huh? Blackwater and then, uh... Sure. Was Blackwater really bad luck, though, Dutch? Or... You and Mike acting real crazy. You tell him, Arthur. Tell him to wake up. He's lost something. Blackwater was about surviving, John. Not for that girl, it weren't. You okay? I was on that boat. I saw what Dutch and Mike did, but he won't admit it. We can't change nothing now. <laughs> 